course, we are worried about what is happening with the populists and with the extreme right. We need uh, to fight and uh, the future generation needs to know that our rights must to be defending because if not, we can come back. El problema fundamental es las políticas que se han desarrollado en los últimos años que han producido una regresión en el respeto al derecho a la vida. La sentencia dictada por la Corte Suprema de los Estados Unidos abre una puerta a recuperar el respeto a la dignidad de los seres humanos, al respeto al derecho a la vida del ser humano desde el momento mismo de la concepción hasta su muerte natural. We are already seeing that there is a massive attack on abortion rights also across the European Union, the most notable example being Poland where a more restrictive abortion law um, has been passed. Um, that, for example, in Lithuania, a similar proposal um, was put forward in the parliament. But we also see countries like Germany um, or also Spain, where there have been attempts to um, attack abortion rights uh, and to have more restrictive laws. Ojalá España siguiera el camino que sigue en Polonia y Hungría. We have to provide funding, but we also want to um, really enshrine abortion rights um, in, for example, the EU Charter on Fundamental Rights, uh, because we believe that the US example, as we are seeing it now, shows that it's very important to codify these rights uh, and then to have really uh, a stronger basis to fall back on when these attacks from anti-abortion groups, anti-choice groups are coming.